I'm Pastor George Borkart, and this is another Higher Things Video Short. I'm in. I'm woman. I'm Woke Wednesday. That's the subject of today's Higher Things Video Short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, get the app, share, donate. If you love what we're doing in Higher Things, pass on the faith to the next generation. Like our videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, ring the bell for notifications, get our app. It's available on all major platforms, and donate and share first, then donate your tax deductible gift to higher things, keeps us passing on the faith to the next generation. And th we need this gospel in these dark times. Uh, Erica Jacoby, our regular uh, Woke Wednesday, uh, my regular Woke Wednesday buddy is with me today. They're getting, they're upgrading her equipment and her internet. So she should be here back soon. Um, you'll be summoned with me today as we sort of ponder something strange that happened a week ago. Um, uh, a representative in the House of uh, the uh, the House of Representatives ended a prayer, a prayer to a pagan god. Amen, a woman. Now a lot of ink was spilled on this, but uh, as a sort of outside observer, first we should after we we sort of cringe and go that was a stupid, um, a dumb, a uh, ignorant. We should maybe pause for a second because amen has absolutely nothing to do with men or women. Amen is the Hebrew word, um, Hebrew root word for I believe. Uh, Lutherans memorize in the catechism that amen means yes, yes, it shall be so. Um, or I'm on board with that. Okay. Amen at the end of the prayer means that's my prayer too. Okay. It has absolutely nothing to do with men. It's absolutely nothing to do with women. And so amen a woman is just uh, ridiculous. But the root problem is looking for a problem where there may not be one. What I mean by that is we are so sort of geared toward, toward making corrections to things that we believe may be sexist, misogynistic, racist, that we find them in places where they're not. Amen is literally the Hebrew word for I believe. Certainty. You can bank on that. That's what the word means. Has absolutely nothing to do with men or women. And so we go in and we see this and we go, ah, oh, male, patri male patriarchy. And we sort of, and this is where we need to completely and totally just step back a little bit. Cool our jets and love one another. Okay, what I mean by that is let's give our, our neighbor the benefit of the doubt. Maybe if they didn't say things in a proper way, their intent was not to put on a white hood and be a, a KKK racist. Those There are folks that have white hoods and there are folks that are, are members of the KKK and those people are, 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 are evil in their hatred. But we're, we're not given to, to, to carry hatred around for them or for others or to look for reasons to hate people. That, that violates the Eighth Commandment. So what we learned from a man, a woman, is this is the state that we're in. And we need to sort of step back, calm down, pray, breathe, cut our neighbors some slack, and forgive them. I think with this representative... The pagan god bit. I, I know what he was trying to do. He was trying to catch all the religions in one fell swoop. And the Lord will deal with that on the last day. Um, my take on it is, is I would just tell the guy that was not helpful. And this is why I don't need to hear a prayer all the time in front of governmental things. And you don't either. Because when that you have a prayer like that, it would have been just better if there was no prayer. Think about that the next time you are upset about prayer in schools. But I digress um, into a, a lot of hate. If you want to give me some hate on that, you're welcome to include it in the, in the thing. We'll talk about it. But my, the important thing here is for us to slow down, have a little mercy, have a little grace, um, even for this representative. Let, let, I'm going to leave that to, to the Lord. Um, and, and sort of let's not look for in our neighbor bad stuff. 
If our neighbor does say bad stuff, then we can like take them aside and correct them gently as the Lord has corrected us. But um, let's not look for it. Because if you're looking for something, you're generally going to find it. And we need to ask ourselves it's whether or not we're, we're really loving others when we're looking for them to trip up. That's not love. Love doesn't keep a record of wrongs. Um, love is full of forgiveness and mercy. That's the thought. Woke Wednesday. Jacoby will be back soon to tackle, tackle those, those, those hard topics. But today, a man, a woman, a woke Wednesday. Um, this one's so easy that even I can handle it. I'm Pastor George Barkart and Thor. And this has been another Higher Things video short.